today by Hannah from Han Jan Crochet. We're going live on several different channels today, so we're so excited to have you join us. If you got our emails or some hints on social media, Hannah and I have a really big announcement today, right? We do indeed. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I know. I know. The fun thing about this is it wasn't exactly pre-planned a long time ago. It's just I mean, I knew you were doing the bobbles and you knew I was yeah. making stockings, but it happened that we launched the same week and that was like, like the same day. I know, I'm it's crazy, isn't it? Like we've talked about it so much, haven't we? And like we knew we were kind of giving up, but I'm so happy like we both got it done in time. I know. <laughs> I'm so, I'm That's so the best part. <laughs> I know when you launched it, I was like, we did it. Yay! We did it before the holidays. But since we launched at the same time, we were like, oh my gosh, we have to like, we have to do something together, right? Yeah. We just have to. Yeah. So we decided to do a big announcement. This is what's so fun about having crochet friends is doing things like big and together and um, having so much fun with it. But Hannah and I decided to go live today and do a really big announcement. But first we had to tell them like what, what we launched, doing. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Hannah, you go start with what you launched this week. That's absolutely amazing. Cool. So this week I have launched a course and an ebook for some Christmas baubles, which I have been reliably informed not everyone in the world calls them Christmas baubles. Yeah. So apparently, I never knew this, we do over here. So let me show you one to tell you what I mean. So decorations, round spherical decorations for your Christmas tree or a garland or whatever you want to put them and hang them on. And I've done 20, I got a bit carried away. I did 21. <laughs> Like, it's amazing I, how many did. I, I started, I was like, I'll do half a dozen. I'll do half a dozen. And then yeah. 21 later. So I basically went for it. And like people this time of year seem to like really struggle with great big massive projects yeah. and getting their heads into new things, etc. So what I thought is I'll do small, manageable projects that you can make in like an hour. I can I can yeah. do these in an hour that all use different techniques, but the same basic pattern. So there are seven feral baubles, there are seven tapestry baubles, and there are seven overlay mosaic baubles. And they are all completely different, and they all use oh, colour okay. which I know you love as well anyway, Brianna, don't you? You love colour work. Yeah. And uh, yeah. just kind of showing the, the base and the top is exactly the same for all the baubles. And it's just this middle section. I've picked up two feral ones there. But look, there's a tapestry one there with the little holly leaves. And they just, they use this middle section is the one that's different. So as long as you get the bottom and the top, you'll, you'll be absolutely fine. It's so easy to do once you get going. Um, and I've put it all into a course if you want to buy the course. And I've put it all into an ebook if you want the ebook. And also starting on Monday, I'm doing a pared down but free version on my blog. So... That's kind of what I'm up to. <laughs> I think it's it's so amazing. One, you know I love color work. So I'm yeah. so excited for these. Two, I cannot believe you did 21. Because I remember us talking and you were like, I'm going to do like a dozen, maybe 15. And I was like, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> You do you. That's amazing. That's a lot. But that's that's awesome. And then also that like you could make these for gifts because they're so fast. Like yes, they're so fast. Definitely. Like I was, I was thinking the other day, teacher gifts, because I haven't yet done or sorted anything for, for Elliot's teachers. And I was like, Ooh, yeah. I can give yeah. them a ball. Yes. Yes. Do not do the whole like mug, like teachers have enough, like mugs that say, I love being a teacher or classroom, like decor. they, do, they have enough. Yeah. They would rather have a handmade ornament that they put on the tree every year because that's also a way to have the teacher have memories of the family she teaches too because yeah. they will. They'll remember that. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. And they are meant to use up just scraps of yarn. You can you can match the colors that I've done, obviously, but you can also match it to your colors. Uh, yeah. You don't have to buy. I've used pre-made uh, bauble, you know, pre-formed baubles, but you could stuff them. You don't have to spend any money on making these if you don't want to. You can make this with everything that you have at home. I love that. I love that. So we actually, after hearing you talk about that, we have something in common. We're so brilliant. I'm, so, I'm just going to say <laughs> we're so brilliant, Hannah. We have something in common when it comes to what our event is. So mine is stockings. 
and they do work out quickly. But if you remember recently, I released the magical stitches. I decided to release four new stitches because I have so many swatches and stitches around here and I just want to get them out because they're so fun to work. Um, mine similar to Hannah's has a base template. So the toe, the heel, and the, and the cuff Ooh. are all the same. We're Don't so you love good. when we make things easy? It's the same stitch count for every stocking. So it just makes it kind of more streamlined and easy to get. Like I, I made all my toes before I started doing the bodies. If you did oh. want to make more than one, because then it's just quick. It's like in your head, you've already made one. It's easy to like, just pump out the next and the next. So I love that we think and we do that intentionally to make it a easier on ourselves, I guess. But more like I think about if I were to buy something, I'm like, I just want the easiest path, which is yeah. brilliant with your baubles that you start and end them all the same. You can whip those out so fast. Yeah. And I figure as well, like if you're like with your your amazing stitches, like the focus there is to learn the stitches, the magical yes. stitches. And like for me, the focus on these is to learn the fair the tapestry and the overlay mosaic, not the beginnings right. and the end. So what not get, worry about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make, make the beginning and the end something that you don't need to worry about, something you can absolutely do very yeah. easily. And then we'll focus on the technique that we're really learning. Yes. It's crazy how similar we did that in that teaching style. So obviously it's brilliant. <laughs> like if Hannah did it and I did it, it's brilliant. <laughs> I love that we did that and we didn't even know until now. <laughs> I didn't know until now. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, so I have had people ask like how my stockings are staying so nice, like what I stuck inside here. So yeah. when I was doing these, because they're a bit more lacy, um, I've been ordering more for Christmas. So we've been getting a lot of deliveries and cardboard boxes. And my husband's just like, he's like frustrated at breaking it all down for recycling. And I was like, hmm, I can just take all these, like when these cardboard boxes show up, I just put my stocking on top of the cardboard box and trace just out just wider than the stocking. And then I had something to put in here because I don't, I don't put anything in my stocking until Christmas Eve. And so, I mean, the boys will mess with it. If I put anything in there, oh Lord, they want to know what it is. They take it out, they put it in. So I've just eliminated that stress for them messing with the stockings. And so to display them until Christmas Eve, I thought this, since they're empty, this is a that's great way to display idea. them. Yeah. So that's, no, you can do it to any stocking, just FYI. I mean, I know everyone's got a ton more cardboard at home right now. That's definitely a thing that's happening. Um, so with this, if you're learning four new crochet. I promise to crochet. They look absolutely knit. I did mimic some knit stitches. I love this one. I don't know if it will focus, but I mimic some knit stitches that, um, I've seen and I've wanted to do. I mean, I do knit, but I wanted to like see them in crochet because while it is a new stitch, that's a mimic it's, it is unique to itself. So while it looks knit, it has a different fabric density and, um, drape, which is fantastic. So we're getting some benefits of crochet, but getting the knit look. And then also with um, this course, I also included because to learn the split single crochet, I want to do a quick and easy project. And I have some tips and tricks on the split single crochet. If you've ever been frustrated with it, it's also known as the waistcoat stitch that will make it so much easier. I have loved from magical stitches. I've gotten so many comments that people really didn't like that stitch before the course. And then they went through my segment of how to do it, how to do it properly. And now they love it. And it was so easy. And once they like figured that out, then it's just like a single crochet. It doesn't, you know, it's not scary. Well, These here's another, sorry, here's another level. Mine use mostly split single crochet yes. and split extended single crochet. So I went with ex split extended single crochets for the bottom and the top. Which I love I, it. Yeah. So there we oh, go. We're amazing. <laughs> you have to jump onto these because we want it. Like if you've never done anything like this, if you've never done color work or you've never done knit look stitches, I always think it's best to do it on a smaller scale. Do not make a sweater. Do not make a blanket. Do it with a small project because it's just easier to learn and way rewarding faster. And then you just feel like you accomplish something. You gain that confidence to take it to something else. Plus, like Hannah said, this is a time of year where we don't have massive amounts of time to make a blanket. Um, I actually had, I'm sure she won't see this, but I actually had my son's teacher follows me now on social media 
And she loves my blankets. And her husband very nicely messaged me a message the other night asking if he could purchase one of my blankets for her for Christmas because she talks about it so much, which is so sweet for him to reach out and be like, hey, I want to purchase a blanket for my wife. She follows you. She loves you. Little does he know. I'm like, there's no way I can bust out a blanket. My <laughs> I'm like, is there one in particular I have that she likes? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out there is one. I'm just going to give the one I already have. Oh, brilliant. Which is so, but it's, there's no way I could bust out a blanket by Christmas. I just, I have other things to do. And these are great for teacher gifts as well. You can stick a gift card in these. I made so many of these last year so, so quick. And when I went into the school recently to do a teach in, the principal saw that I was bringing all my knit crochet stuff in. And she said she still has hers from last year because she hangs out on the tree now as an ornament and she loves it. So they remember it. That's just it. Is if you want teachers to like remember things and have it be more meaningful because they love gift cards. Teachers love, love, love gift cards. I've asked my teacher friends, they love them. I know it's what they want, but like for me, I want it to be a bit more personal. So if you did a gift card with a... Yeah. If you did a gift card with a bobble or you did a gift card with, like in a cute little ornament stocking, oh, how nice is that? And it's quick and it's easy and it makes it personal for gift giving. Or, you know, you know, it could be someone at work, a coworker, yeah. um, that type of thing. Perfect yeah. for teachers, though. Or um, then, like on your Christmas table as a, like a little place marker. You could have a bobble or you could have a stocking. Yeah. Or, oh, that would be so nice. That would be so fancy for a dinner party. Yeah. Oh my god, I want to do that. Table gift as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would have to be my favorite friends over for a dinner party or family. Oh, yeah. oh my funny. gosh, could you imagine doing baubles or cute little stockings or something as as table plates like gifts for your yeah. family dinner? If you didn't have like a massive amount yeah. of, I mean, you have twenty one baubles to choose from. You could do them all. <laughs> Okay. I've got plenty. Anyone wants it? No. That's <laughs> only if you really love your family. No, just <laughs> You're gonna make all those homemade gifts for them. But people would remember that and like take those memories with them. It's like thing physical things will spark memories, so it's nice to like make it so personal and handmade. Yeah. And and everyone loves these type of things. It's it's nice because it's not fitted, so you know that the person's gonna love it. It's you know, it's not it's not gonna be like you make something for a relative and it doesn't fit right these are just yeah. perfect because it's for everybody they're perfect and also that's another really good point about these is that other we recently did our uh, cardigan collection didn't we with michelle and we the whole thing in that was about gauge was about yes. matching gauge, getting the size right blah 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 yes. it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter especially if as long if you're using preformed baubles it just has to fit yeah and you know you can stretch it Oh, it yep. doesn't matter if it's a bit big. Uh, yep. If you're stuffing it, it can be as big or as small as you like. So you don't even need, I'm not going to say this, obviously. Don't worry about you it. You even need to do a gauge swatch. Hannah don't, said it. I'm just gonna... Don't tell anyone I said that. I'm with you. Yes. And that's... And you know, your stockings, if they're a couple of inches bigger or smaller. You get so more what? gifts. <laughs> so what? <laughs> and that's why Hannah and I both obviously thought this through and what we wanted to do for the next course. And we thought, it has to be stress-free. Yeah. We don't want to add stress to this time of year. That's not something we want to do. Um, and I also want to say, because I know how um, we can and I use the same platforms for these courses, that you have unlimited access. So let's say you're looking at these stockings and you're like, well, there's no way I, I would ever make four by Christmas. I feel you. You might make one. You might not. And you're looking at the baubles and you're like, I could probably bust out a few, but there's no way I could do 21. That's fine. You can purchase the course now at these amazing prices because we've got some amazing promos going on and you have unlimited access. So you could work on it in the summer. You could work on it next fall. You could plan in three years from now as teacher yeah. gifts. You can come back to this. There's no, It's not like um, you have unlimited access to get into the course at any point. So if you can't do it now, it's okay. Just grab it at this price because it's an amazing price. Well, that, yeah, that's the main thing, isn't it? Because, yeah, we both got promoted. So my my promotion ends really soon. So mm -hmm. there is a really short window for this. So for 24 hours that we have launched now, and there's a time ticker on top of the um, on top of the page that lets you know how long you've got left. If you purchase the ebook, you will get the course completely free. 
you will get lifetime access to the entire course. I'm just so I'm so excited and I want everyone to be able to and I know times are tough right now. Things are expensive. So what I thought is let's just do a short sharp sale so that if you can afford to buy the ebook, I will also give you the course for free. So go That's get nice. it. <laughs> go get it if you want it. And then like Brianna said you have then lifetime access. It will never go away. Yeah. Um and the same, the same with yours, isn't it? You've got a how long is your promo on for? You know, I have a ticker at the top of my page too. Oh, four days, 22 hours. Oh, so not long either. <laughs> no, not long either. I think the other reason why I, I, we both probably chose shorter timelines is like the holidays are coming for us too. So we don't have time to go live over the next two weeks and keep reminding. So we're just, yeah, we're like, hey, this is a really short promo period. You're going to want to jump on it now. And that way you have it for this year, for next year, for whatever year you want to use it for. And you can learn these new techniques or stitches. And even if you're familiar with color work or some, like you've done magical stitches, what we have in here is stuff you haven't probably done before. You may have done one type of color work, but Hannah's included several types of color work, which is amazing. That's to me, I, when I heard she was doing lots of different types of color works, I was like, wow, that's super adventurous in a teaching way because we know we want to make it clear and precise. So that's just incredible. Thank I love you. that. So I have I have Elliot, my five year old, to blame for most of this because I made I made two of the baubles and I showed him them and he was like, Oh mummy, they look great. Can I design some for you? And I was like, Yeah, sure. I think I showed you the picture, didn't I? I said, Yeah, sure, yeah. fine. So he went to bed and he takes a notebook and pencils and stuff to bed. He doesn't like watch anything, he just draws. And yeah. he came down the next morning with a whole pile so of cute. baubles. And I was like, of course, of course I will make those. That is so, so cute. Found, I found that some of them worked and translated well into some color work techniques and some of them work better in others. So that's how I ended up doing the three different techniques. Everyone because should thank him. Everyone should thank him. <laughs> it's I like only it. our children can pressure us into doing those type of things. <laughs> I know, exactly. I was like, yes, of course I'll make those. Of course I will. Of course. That's how I am. If my kid asks for anything in crochet, I'm like, yes, yes, I can, yes. I can do that. I can do that. He um, wants I also wanted to point today. out that I can't, Hannah knows that I cannot resist color work. So no, well, this isn't magical stitches. I did include this because it's so festive and it's new, new to release. I included a blanket. Wow. I can get it in that. here. A really pretty prancing through the holidays blanket. If you want to try to complete it by Christmas, you do you. I, you yeah. Some people can. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> but this is also in the course just because I can't resist color work. So it's, it. yeah. I, I didn't imagine it was that big in the picture. It's it's you know huge. what else? It's really super cozy and heavy. Oh, it's really it. heavy. It is using the um, Mary Maxim. Oh, what is that really thick yarn? Oh my gosh. It's at the top. It, I'll think of it. It's a, the tip of my oh, tongue. Bulky weight. Yeah. Oh yeah. Super bulky weight. Nice. It's the um, star. Is it starlet? It might be starlet bulky. That, that sounds familiar. Yeah. Yep. Oh, um, so it's super heavy. Yeah, that would work. It works out quick because it's like really bulky yarn. I know I'm going to get questions on like, can I do yarn substitutes, which I recently wrote a whole blog post on that because I get asked like several times a week. Yeah. Um, but I, I do think using one of the methods I also have posted on my blog where you can use three strands from one ball would work as well, too, if you want to use up some like, you know, maybe some yarn you got to sell or stuff from your stash. You could go to a, a finer weight yarn and, you know, strand it together and then it would work well too. But it's so heavy and nice. I imagine this, like, part of me is like, this would be a great gift um, for a man. I know, yeah. like, a lot of times we think crochet for women. But I feel like if I, like, gave this to, I mean, my husband has it. So we already have it. You know, he'll already use it. But it's just so, it's like, it's kind of, not to say masculine, because it's really traditional. I guess traditional holiday. Yeah. I feel like, I'm, like, it would be great for that. I, I just find, like, it's harder to find gifts for men. Like if you, you want to make a blanket for your, your dad or your father-in-law, your husband, I think this is a great blanket. It's not, Definitely. it's very just classic. Definitely. So, yeah. Oh, someone said, where can they find the link for the baubles? So it's in the descriptions video and you know what, let's go ahead and cut like throw our links in the comments yeah, yeah, again. Yeah. 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 Cause we're across lots of Lots of, we're lots of platforms. We'll go back as soon as we're done and make sure that these links are on all the platforms. Yeah. Um, but if you've been listening, we we just made a ton of announcements, but we did not make the announcement. Oh, yeah. 
that gets better. I mean, I, I think this is what, as, as I was hearing you tell me what's in your course and I'm like talking about what's in my course, part of me was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy because we're adding to it <laughs> in a big way. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. I know. All right, Hannah, tell them what it is. This is like drum roll, the big announcement for each of our individual courses. We're both doing this. So even if you buy with the promo that we have running now, so you get it cheaper anyway, we are also going to give you a $10 gift card to our stores. So you can go and choose $10 worth of patterns just because we would love you to have them. Yep. That's so kind of it. It's, it's, <laughs> it's crazy because if you think about like we're giving almost money back. Like we're giving a, a yeah, gift card. It really that makes sense. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Hang on. laughs> like, don't do the, don't do the math, Hannah. It's fine. No, no, no. Don't think about it. But it's, it's the holidays. Funny. It's the holidays, and we want to share the love and the crochet and the. So yeah. Yep. It's the holidays. We're gonna throw out all the gifts and all the fun, festive things because we just. This is my favorite time of year, and I love making my home festive and homemade. And so I think just my soul and my heart wants to push that on other people. <laughs> yeah, same. I did that. I was writing my, my blog post ready for Monday when the crochet along launches. And I said, you know, I just kind of want to, I want everyone to experience the same that I experienced with crochet and finding that comfort and that joy and that kind of peace as well. I get, a, I get such an inner peace from yeah. creating and being creative and not just designing patterns, but just actually physically making spending time and that's another point i think that's really important for people to do this time of year is to take time for yourself it's yeah. so busy it's so crazy i haven't done any of my christmas shopping yet please don't no. tell anyone like <laughs> I, i've done nothing and i know that that stress is coming up and i know i need to get all those things done but it's so important to take time for yourself as well so like you know if you've got another half that just doesn't kind of get it or get what you do or what you enjoy just say i've signed up for a course I'm doing a course. And that kind of influences that. that time, doesn't it? It protects yeah. you. You it know, does. It, it gives you that something and that focus. And also we'll be doing it together. Yeah. And that's really important too. Yes. Hannah and I both have community groups. Um, and a lot of our audiences are in both of our community groups. So like, if you make a bobble, I want to see it in my group too, just so you know. I want the stockings. Bring the stockings. I, like, I want to see it all. I love cheering people on. It makes me so happy when people post progress pics or even just what yarn they're, they're thinking about using. Um, so we have a lot of community support. We're not going anywhere. We want to like, we want to enjoy this holiday craft time with you. We want you to post pics, questions, um, final, final things. Tell us what you're thinking about it. Um, I, I love it. I mean, there's just so much, sometimes we get stuck on like the negativity out there in the world and this, our communities, I feel like are a safe space and a break because we all need a break at times to just see something pretty. So when you're posting in our groups, you're putting out, I'll be honest, you're putting out goodness into the world because it really, I mean, I don't know about anyone else, but it makes me so happy. <laughs> and I know, I know it makes Hannah happy. It's, it makes me smile. It really yeah. makes my day better when somebody posts like, this is the yarn I want to use, or this is my in progress pick, or this is my finished item. Like it's joyful. Even just, yeah, the, the yarn ones get me. This is, these are the colors that I've chosen. I'm like, oh, why didn't I choose those colors? <laughs> yeah. Um, someone asked, they purchased magical stitches. I'm assuming the holiday edition yesterday. Yes. If you have previously purchased from the time we launched, you are also getting that $10 Ravelry yeah. gift card. It is not in our, um, course. I don't know if it's in your course. I'm running a bit behind today. I had a, li a little bit of an accident with my puppy last night and my dog. She's okay, but I have to take her to the vet after this. So at some point today, like you'll get it. Don't worry. You're going to get that $10 Ravelry gift card. It will be um, with inside the course um, with instructions. So if you don't see it right now, that's because I haven't done it, but you will see it in there. <laughs> it will arrive. It will arrive. <laughs> it will arrive. It will arrive. Oh, someone says, oh, they purchased my, my, the previous magical stitches course October and it came with the happily ever after clutch. So cute. She even covered stinking in the course. Yes. Yes. That's amazing. Yeah. A lot of people thought stinking was exclusive to knit because it is kind of rare. And if you don't know, stinking is cutting your crochet, like literally grabbing scissors and cutting your fabric. I've never um, done it. I so want to. It's, I, yeah, 
yeah, <laughs> it does feel nerve wracking until you do it and you realize, oh, that it's fine. It doesn't explode or, or blow up, but it is kind of like nerve wracking to be like, okay, I just made this fabric. I'm going to cut it, but yeah, you're going to do it and it's going to be fantastic and it's going to be fine. And it, we can do it in crochet. It, we can take things from knit and have them in crochet too. See, I'm proving that. <laughs> skills and stuff as well that Brianna and I we we always push ourselves to yeah. give more of us and more of our our experience and stuff and it's also that you can build on it you can take all of these skills and use yeah. them in other places this isn't just a this is the this is just baubles that you can make this is how to increase in rounds how to work these split stitches how to work the stitch these magical stitches that are absolutely amazing yes. there will be more coming I promise you yeah. I know that there oh. will be more coming <laughs> yes so, so, you know, this is all building for the future for everyone. Yeah. And I, I feel bad I haven't gotten it into more of like a course, but one of my testers, she's amazing. She took the Magical Stitches sock pattern and she used it. It's so brilliant. She said it was the same. She used the same stitch count, just a different yarn. And she made a wine cozy. Just, oh, I saw that. Yeah, just yeah. skip the heel and just just keep going with it. And I was like, that's brilliant. And I honestly think we could do that with all of these stitches. Yeah. I just, it's one of those things. But it, when, I'm telling you, once you learn these stitches, if you want to put the stitch on a wine cozy, yeah. I really don't think it would be that difficult. Like, you know the stitch, you're yeah. just going to make a two. There's certain things we can take these stitches and use for so many different objects. And her wine cozy is gorgeous. Whoever's getting that gift, like, I'm jealous. Like, I want it. <laughs> I haven't had time to like uh, make make one yet, but I want I want I want I want one. Should you should? Oh, it says is Hannah's course the same type of course as Magical Stitches or is this a cow? It's both. So I have the course which is all complete. So the difference with mine is um, if you purchase the course and the ebook, everything is completely ad free because as you probably all know, Brianna and I we have ad advertising on our blogs and on our YouTube channels, and that's how we are able to to release things for free on those channels. And so from Monday onwards, for every single day up until the 22nd of December, if I can manage that far, I'll be releasing uh, one of the patterns every day on the blog with ads. And so by purchasing the course, which is in a, in a, in a platform the same as Brianna uses, so if you purchased her course, it will be exactly the same platform. You don't have to have any ads. All the videos are in nice bite-sized chunks, um, so you don't have to watch great big long videos and lose your place. And it's, it's all just sat there waiting for you to just click chronologically to follow along. So I'm trying to see, share this. Okay. Oh, I think I did it. All right. I just want to, I'm going to show everyone what it looks like because I think that's the oh, thing too. Yeah. We might as well, right? Yeah. Hannah and I use the same platform. So you're, this is the nice thing too, is between our two courses, you're going to know the navigation is going to be the yeah. same navigation. So it makes it so easy it's if you want to grab both. Yes. So this is what it looks like. So you on this on this left hand side here, this is your menu. So everything. Why is it not letting me scroll? Well, it's not letting me use the page. I don't know why. But on the left hand. Oh, there we go. On the left hand side, if you scroll, we have the menu of our classes. So they're in different modules. So this is what Hannah's will look like, too. It's, we've, we've done the organization for you, which is also really nice. Um, and then as you click each module, there is the instructions or, you know, notes of what you need to know. And then you can simply click continue. And it also keeps track of your progress. So I if you were working your, yeah, if you're working your way through Hannah's Bobbles and you're like, I'm going to do all 21, um, it will tell you like what your progress is as you complete each section. Um, and then we also have the videos embedded in here. So you don't have to go searching for them. Um, and we have photos stuff like that. I included a little extra, like what could you include with a gift card stocking? Like what type of gift card for crafty people or teachers? Um, everything's super, super organized within these courses. So it's so nice to, I, I'd like to show people because I think that yeah. would be my question too, is like, what does it look like if I buy this? Like, what am I getting myself into? It's really easy to log in. And this is what we're saying has lifetime access. Like you're going to be able to, you make your own login with your email. You're going to yeah. bookmark that so you can quickly find it again. And then you're just going to like save your password, log in and come and go as you please. But yeah. like Hannah just mentioned about an ebook, um, because we know sometimes you might 
go on a long car ride and you may not have access to internet because this is all online. We've also included, and I've included as well, a downloadable pattern in a PDF form ad free so that if you if you prefer not to have your phone next to you or your computer next to you or you're sitting in a doctor's office with horrible reception, um, you can you can still print the pattern and take it with you. We're making it kind of like how teachers um, they make different modules for learning styles. You yeah. know, like for a kid, like this kid learns more visually. This kid learns more you know, listening. We want to make sure that you're successful in this course, so we've included a couple different ways to work through these patterns. Yeah, and I've done in my ebook. I've done step by. I've got about five or six pages of step by step pictures because I know that some people really like to watch videos for the detail, mm -hmm. and then other people actually like to just sit and study pictures. And I've yeah. had that feedback from lots of different people. So I've done, but there's both options. So there's the ebook that has all of it's literally like ten pictures per stitch. I did it as slowly wow, as I nice. could. Um, and then obviously it's in the video, so you can watch the two hand in hand. Um, yes. And you're, I think you, yours have got lots of charts as well, haven't they? Mine have got charts, obviously, for color. Yeah, work. yeah. So I walk through so that the, too. the charts in mine are so unique this time. It's actually different from my previous Magical Stitches course oh. for a good reason. I don't usually like to like switch things up that quickly in something, but if I think something could be done better, I'm going to go with the better route. And when I was chatting with Marley Bird, she happened to visit me and we were standing in line waiting, I think, to ride like seven dwarfs or something. Um, I, I was kind of complaining a bit about how like I'm really shocked that no one has really come in the market with a really nice charting system for crochet. It is quite complicated on yeah. our end to chart crochet. And how I did it for my first time is I because this is this is just different than charting what I've charted before is I would take a photo of the design put it on my computer and like go in Photoshop or Illustrator and literally just draw the stitches over on top yeah because I wanted people to see how the stitches actually like moved if that yeah. makes sense instead of just yeah. doing it in a linear line it's like seeing and then marley was like yeah that's like stitch maps and i was like oh my gosh i forgot that existed i had been oh. heard of it years ago it's for knitting only and and i would love to convince the owner of this to do it for crochet i don't think it'd be too difficult but they have programmed something for knit where it does it it does knit so knit stitches are always linear they're, they don't do like crochet where you can kind of see how they move that's what they did they mapped knit stitches to be better and then i thought well if i'm converting knit wouldn't these also work for this so i started playing with the charts and looking at them i'm like oh my gosh this is a faster for me cleaner it's really clean and better so i have a video in there that talks about it i love feedback um but these stitch charts are not like you've seen before but they're very simple to use because the other cool thing that stitch maps does is you can select to have it show you lines like so a line oh, will no. go across your row so you can follow your eyes across a row that might be moving and so it, ha it will do a line per row and then it also does lines and columns so you can see like oh i'm working into this stitch yeah, below. Yeah. It's brilliant. Stitch mask so is brilliant. I need them to do it for all crochet, but it's it works. But it works for magical stitches where I'm converting knit stitches to crochet. I'm like that. That makes so much more sense than me taking a photo and trying to adjust spacing, and it takes yeah. hours. Yeah. 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 Well, my, my, my charts are very well with my color work. It, they all sit on top of each other. Everything's straight, straight lines. So you just, you just go in straight lines for yeah, my color work is that's, I think that's one of the reasons why I float towards color work and crochet is because it is so, so much easier to show that visual chart. Yep. There's no and mistaking done, what's going on. Um, I've done a visual chart, like an actual just colored chart. And I've done color blocks as well for like, it, if it's three, you know, four or five stitches in one color, it literally is a color block with the number four in it. And then, then it's oh, I think, yes. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So you don't have yes. to, yeah, you don't have to tick along along a chart if you don't want to. It so all comes, to, yeah. Beautiful. It all comes down to your brain and your learning style, what you like yeah. to visualize best. Yeah. The other thing I did do for this blanket, just I, I discovered this recently too, and I use a program called Stitch Fiddle for a lot of this color work, is that when you're talking like a big blanket, 
I tend to give like the main chart where you see all the color work in tiny little squares, and then I'll break it up into sections so that you can see it better by kind of having it blown up across four, four pages or so. And you can print that. I know a lot of people like to have that so that they can cross off what row they're on because it is sometimes like, and that's why I can, I love the color block feature too. Um, it's when you're, well, I always watch TV. Sometimes it's hard with our eyes to joke. Like, where am I? Okay. Where? Am I? Yeah. Yeah. Like, so with like this one, yeah. So <laughs> right. You can like cross off a row or whatever, but what I did for this one is if you buy the course and this is all this, this feature, even when I do release this as an individual pattern, this feature is only available in the course is I have granted access to a um, interactive chart. So that means that you can have it on your screen and every single time you complete a row, it highlights the row that you're on. So it's easier to figure out where you're at and you just hit the space bar or the up button when you're done with that row and it moves to the next row. So it's a way to highlight and keep track. And even if you leave the program, come back, it keeps track of what row That's that you're on. That's amazing. So with the course, you get access to that for that pattern too, but that will only ever be available in the course to um, do that, which I think is an amazing feature to have as well. Um, yeah, we have so many, it's crazy because, um, Someone just said a, a stitch mat brush, friends. I know I love stitch mats. Now I'm like addicted to it and playing with it constantly. I've forgotten it was there. Things like that, and they're like, "Oh, I can do this with it and that I'm with like, it." Yeah. <laughs> and, and I and it, like as I was going through it, I'm like, the person who like programmed this and designed it is absolutely brilliant. Can you please just come over to crochet for a hot second? Come and help me. <laughs> um. Oh, when you're releasing the pillows, I, it might be the pillows. I, so I do have a, a bump offer at checkout where I have a pillow collection there. Um, these are all previously released pillows. Um, but this, I put them in a beautiful ebook in one place. If you wanted to, to get that bump offer, just like I, I went crazy for some times <laughs> and I made so many holiday pillows. It's ridiculous. Like it's ridiculous. And I make them thank goodness as pillow covers because there's no way I would have space. This time. <laughs> oh, I have so many. I, I would not have space. Oh. So they love the baubles. I oh, I, I yeah. love the baubles. I think they're a great fast project for the holidays. They make me happy. Yeah, I just wanted quick wins for everyone. I wanted like quick, quick, easy. But lots of people, even my mom. So my mom's always a good marker. She can crochet brilliantly and knit brilliantly. But Every time she looks at something, like, oh, that looks difficult, Hannah. That looks really difficult. Really? And I'm like, Mom, it's not. Honestly, let me show you. <laughs> and then, because I get her to try everything I do, and she tries it, and she goes, oh, you're right. It's really not difficult. <laughs> and like, you're like, Mom, just I'm going to put you in the course. Just take the course. <laughs> <laughs> and That's the amazing. Thing, you, might find it, you might find any aspect of these courses difficult, but that's fine. That's yeah. fine, because... We're going to, you're going to learn. You're going to learn. Yes. It might take you a few times. Like I said, they get all of mine start with a magic ring. And for the longest time, I cursed the magic ring. I hated yeah. it. Oh, and yeah. you know what? I, I still don't particularly love it, but I can yeah. do it. Yes. And I know that. And, and if that's a stumbling block for you, then this is the time to jump on it and learn that. Or just go, do you know what? It's okay. I'm just going to chain two and I'm going to work into that second chain. Funny you nope. bring that up because no, I've been yeah, no one's going to know. I've been teaching Bryson. He really wants to learn to crochet. I think, well, I, I've actually been getting messages from parents. I went into their classrooms a few weeks back for a teach-in where you're supposed to talk about your job. And I really, I took so many visuals and mainly I talked about fiber. I mean, I showed them stuff I did, but I, I can't teach crochet to kids in, an, in a half hour period. So I wasn't going to try. Um, so I was just talking about being an artist, what I do. But mainly I thought I would take the lesson to a fiber class, like learning about what is fiber? Like, what is your clothes made from? Why does it shrink? And I, and I literally handed out like roving wool, wool oh, so that you get to play cool. with and feel. I love that. Yes. And then I challenged them to like, as I was talking, they were all rolling it in their hands and noticing that they could no longer pull it apart. And I was explaining to them when they go to college and they're doing their own laundry and it shrinks, this is the process. Now you're visually seeing why clothes shrink and why it's important to look at labels of clothes. But I guess I inspired a lot of students because I've been getting questions from parents on 
what is a good kit to purchase for their child for learning to crochet because they want to learn to crochet now. And my kids have known my career forever. But since that night, they both actually for the first time want to learn. And I think it's because their like fellow friends were like, your mom's amazing, which was shocked. I was like, yes, I nailed it. I didn't embarrass my children. <laughs> Bravo. They were not embarrassed. And so I think that, that their, their friends like, do you, obviously you would know how to crochet, right? Has your mom taught you? Um, so Bryson has now made a swatch of single crochet. So proud oh, of him. Bless him. I know. And I'm going slow at his pace when he wants to. And now he wants to make one of my patterns. <laughs> He wants oh, to make gosh. an Ami, like a little bear. And it's releasing soon. It's actually not released yet, but it's been sitting in my office for like a year. And um, it will release on Marley's blog hop. We'll talk about that in a second. Oh, yes. But it's, I'm like, do I teach him the magic ring or do I just chain two? Oh. He's only nine. So like part of me is like, I want to, like my I soul wants to tackle it. Yeah, just have a go because do you know what? He might be like, like when anyone learns anything, if you go, well, this is the way it's done, they don't perhaps know there's another option. And if they get it, great. Right. But if not, hey ho, oh, there's another way we can try. Let's try this. And try chain two. Right. Because yeah. I'm just, I'm thinking about now we've done rows and now we're going to work in the round. But it's been really beneficial to teach him because it makes, you know, once again, it reminds me to remind everyone else when you're learning a new skill. Do it in short spurts. Don't yeah. like sit down and be like, I'm going to make this whole bobble or stocking tonight. Maybe not. Like you might if your experience busted out. But if you're newer to this, I would say you can do these things. You can absolutely make a bobble. You can make a stocking. We have all the resources there for you. But be sure to do it in a non-stressful way. And I think that's why it's clicking for Bryce in this time is there hasn't been the pressure of like, all right, tonight first night, we're going to make a whole swatch. No, we're just going to learn to chain. And then we're going to practice that for a while because yeah. tension is the hardest thing to get. And it was painful to watch him. I wanted to just like hold his hands. <laughs> it's so hard, isn't it? Not to Let me just put my hands over your hands. Uh, it's so hard to watch him struggle. But I realized by like him just being patient with himself too, now he can chain like crazy and it's yeah. awesome. So it's okay to not complete a whole project in a night. Yes. Oh, we have someone also for originally from England. That's yeah. Knit, knit seems to be, I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, Hannah, but a lot of times over in Europe and the UK, don't more people learn to knit before crochet? As, as, ch yeah, as children, I don't know children. now. When I was, when I was a child, yeah, most people would learn to knit. Um, like at school, right? Yeah, yeah. And look, yeah. Well, my dad taught me to knit um, oh, and he, he's, he's of the generation that like post post second world war they were all taught to knit at school and to sew and to all of that kind of stuff like girls and boys and so he learned how to do that and my mum is as I say an amazing knitter but she's so fast like and as an as a six seven eight year old there's no way I could follow what she was doing but my dad my dad is a he's a mechanic and he's got massive hands and he just looks really clumsy but that's great because it's really slow so yes. he's the perfect person to learn from that's true yeah it, we really just slow like to learn something new sometimes we have to slow down and I think also that's why I love our courses is because they're built with that menu on the left hand side it's it's going in the order you need to go in, completing, like, I like to call them snackable tasks. Like you're just, you're just having a snack before going on to the next step. And you, you really feel like you're rolling through and accomplishing each step and, and enjoying it along the way. Um, oh, I love this. So I really quick, because we brought up Marley Bird, we wanted to talk okay. about this too. Oh, so much. I don't, I, I can't believe how much is going on today. So on top of Hannah and I doing this big announcement that if you purchase our courses during our promo period right now, you will also get a $10 Ravelry gift card. That's crazy because we also have promo pricing on this. Like you get special pricing to begin with. So we have our links in here. Jump on those. In the comments, I'm going to post a link here really quick. Nope, oh, that was not the link. Oh, that's a big link. That's a big link. It's because I copied, she sent me a, oh. a Facebook message and I copied the link from there. Dang it. Okay. Ignore that link. Let me click on it. 
grab it. <laughs> then come back. <laughs> yeah. uh, now I'll... we're going to do the correct link. Ignore the jumble jumble because I copied it from the messenger <laughs> and it didn't. That was just too much. Hey, okay, this, hey. one. this one. Um, yeah. Right now, today, first day is the 24 days of quickies with Marley Bird and friends. Amazing event. I am so excited to be participating again this year. And coincidences of coincidences, Hannah and I are both participating today. <laughs> are we like the same person? <laughs> it's really weird, isn't it? <laughs> because there are so many people and so many designers in this event. So I'll be honest with you, it is kind of crazy that Hannah and I both are participating today as well. Like, we just are the same person now. We're the same person. Yeah. We should just combine our names. Different country. Um, yeah. But there, there are so many. I had a look through because we get to know who's like, we know all the secrets of who's coming, who you're going to yes, get. But do. there's like two two crochet patterns and one knit pattern or two crochet and one knit every day. There's like three patterns every day. Every day. Plus the armadillo. That's crazy. I'm That's the armadillo crazy. today, by the way. Yes. <laughs> so for today on this 24 days of quick quickies with Marley Bird. Jump over to that link. Today you can grab some crochet patterns, ad free downloads. This is a fun, fun blog hop. This is why I love Marley though. Like she's doing this to help designers get traffic. Now, why do we need traffic? Because we have ads on our blogs and this helps us generate a small amount of income for the holidays. So I love that she also does it right now because it really does. It really does help small business owners get more traffic. And if you don't know, you probably do. Marley Bird is huge. Like she is one of the top women in this industry. So she is sharing her like huge power to help other designers as well. And we're doing this blog hop and every single time you click, I promise you, even though you're like, wow, that's a lot of clicks. It's only like four or five. I think by the end of it, you're getting an ad free pattern. You're also helping like a lot of women with small businesses earn a small amount of income for the holidays, which is super helpful as we all know. Um, so she's amazing to host this event. I have joined every year she's done it. I love it. Um, so today I have a knit stocking pattern on there and Hannah is the armadillo. Do you want to explain what the armadillo is? So that, well, I'm not entirely sure I know quite other than it's kind of like a special offer. It's kind of like, it's not a pattern. It's not a pattern to download. Like some people give away um, Ravelry voucher code. Some people give away an ebook. Some people give away various different things. Yeah. Um, and mine is tied to the launch of the course. Yes. So go yeah. check out, go check yeah. it out. Go check mm -hmm. it out. It's just, it's just the armadillo is just kind of, I don't even know. You know what? We should ask her today. What I, I remember, I think I know where it came from, no, but it's, it's so cute. I don't know. She's going to explain it to us today. So at now, actually, we're going to jump yeah. off here in a second because Marley's going live. We may join her. Um, she will explain what the armadillo is. Go ask her on her live. She's going live right now. And, but so be sure to join that Blanc Hop market. It's every single day for the next like, 20 Up 24 days 24 days till christmas it's like it is an advent calendar for crocheters and knitters to get a free pattern every single day and sometimes more than one pattern so it is so worth it um really quick i just want to answer this question um yes oh definitely yeah definitely yes if you yep. purchase our i love that you're purchasing hannah's and mine um, you're going to get a $10 gift card from both of us. They will show up inside the course. We will get them there. I'm hoping to have mine there by end of day. Um, they will have an expiration date. Obviously not today because I don't even have it in there. <laughs> You'll have some time, I promise. Um, but I'm going to run to the vet. I'm going to take my little pup to the vet to make sure, get her checked out to make sure her tail is okay. And Hannah might be jumping on Marley's. We'll see. But that's what we've got. So to recap really quick, Hannah has an amazing bobbles course. You have to go get it. I have an amazing Magical Stitches Holiday Edition. You have to go get it. We're doing promo pricing. It's already at a crazy like buy now price. Like it's, you don't even have to question it. It's an amazing deal. But on top of that, we just did a huge announcement that we added a $10 Ravelry gift card to each of our shops for a limited time. And those will be coming to you if you've purchased since we launched and during the promo period. But it will go away very quickly. So you're going to want to jump on it like now, now, now. Yeah. yeah. Even I panicked when I looked on my page earlier and the time is like ticking down and I'm like, oh, 
Well, when you asked me how much time I had left in my head, I was like, I don't know, like six days. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's less than four. (laughs) Where did time go? Who knows? This time of year is just disappeared. (laughs) Yes, you still get them if you bought it yesterday. Yes, yes, yes. We are yes people. We're like, yes, yes, we get it. Yes, yes, yes. Have all the crochet. Have it all. So yeah, but just do it before a promo ends out. Right before the promo ends out, you're going to get everything. You're going to get all the goodies. So thank you so much for joining us today. Be sure to jump over to those links and check them out. And we will be going live again soon. And if we don't hear from you, we hope you have a happy holiday season of crafting. Absolutely. Take care, everyone.